Hi there, today we are going to talk about an important metric used in evaluating the quality of text that has been automatically generated by machine learning models. More specifically, we'll take a close look at the blue score which you have most likely encountered if you have ever worked in machine translation. Let's start with the fundamental concepts of precision and recall, which are essential to understanding the blue score. In general terms, precision refers to the proportion of true positive predictions out of all positive predictions made. Or in other words, it measures how accurate our predictions are when we say that something is true. Recall, on the other hand, is the proportion of true positives of all actual positives in the data and it measures how well our approach captures all the true instances. Now, let's apply these concepts to language. For example, let's imagine that we have the following candidate sentence that was generated by a machine learning model. Today is cold. And the following reference sentence, today the weather is sunny. How would you measure the precision and recall between the two? In this case, if we consider individual words as our units of measurement, we can see that both today and these are correctly predicted, but cold is not present in the reference sentence. So out of the three words predicted, two are correct. This means that our precision would be two thirds or approximately 0.66. On the other hand, the recall would be two out of five since we correctly predicted two out of the five words present in the reference sentence, resulting in a recall of 0.4. Furthermore, we can extrapolate this logic and switch to n-grams, which are continuous sequences of n words from a given sample of text. In our first example, if we consider bigrams, or sequence of two words, we would have today is and is called as our predicted bigrams, and today the, the weather, weather is and is sunny as our reference bigrams, so no matches between the predicted and the reference text giving us a zero precision and recall. On the other hand, if we replace cold with sunny in the candidate sentence, we would get a precision of 0.5 and a recall of 0.25. And now that we have covered the basic of precision and recall, as well as their application to language using n-grams, let's move on to the blue score. The blue score is a widely used metric in natural language processing that evaluates the quality of machine-generated text based on how similar it is to a reference text. Simply put, it computes the precision between the predicted text and the reference text, usually up to 4 grams, and then takes the average of the resulting scores. For instance, using the previous example, we have obtained a precision of 100% for unigrams and 50% for bigrams. And if we consider only those doing the computation of the blue score, but remember, we usually compute up to 4 grams and I'm doing this only for simplicity, we would get a blue score of approximately 0.70 by geometrically averaging the precisions. However, you may have noticed until now that there is something finishing about the way you compute the precision because, for instance, we get a quite high precision for unigrams, even though we miss important words from the reference text. Let's take an even more extreme example. What if our model generated only the words today the? We get a precision of 1 for both unigrams and bigrams. So a perfect blue score, which I believe we could both agree that this is not okay. So what can we do about this? Well, the solution the blue score proposes is to introduce a brief penalty score that we multiply the blue score with and that is calculating using the following formula. We says that if the length of the candidate sequence C is lesser or equal than the length of the reference sentence, then we multiply the blue score with the following number, e to the power of 1 minus r divided by C, which, because it is a number between 0 and 1, it ensures that shorter sentences are not unfairly rewarded simply because they have fewer opportunities for mistakes. And, on the other case, if the length of the candidate sequence is greater than the length of the reference sequence, we don't apply any penalty. Putting this into numbers, for our initial example, we would get a brief dip penalty of 0.51, and when we multiply it with the blue score that we have obtained for this example, 
we would get 0 0.36. And for the second example, where we predicted only the worst two data, we would get an even stronger briefty penalty of 0 0.22. So when we multiply it with the blue score that we have obtained at that time, we would get 0.22 as well. And thus, in both cases, we have successfully managed to apply a length penalty when the model tries to cheat the blue score computation and predict few worse than it should have been. And that's basically it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you found this video explanation helpful. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the content I create on this channel. See you next time. Bye bye.